This conference will now be recorded. So we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, factors influencing the MRP. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there are we will see the importance of lot size, different lot size procedures, okay, additional lot size influences, okay. Then we will understand importance of maximum lot size and minimum lot size. Then we'll discuss safety stock, safety stock, and the various types of scraps like assembly scrap, component scrap, operation scrap. Those things we will discuss. Okay. So first we'll start with the a large size procedures. Okay. So normally when you run MRP, system uh, takes the large size procedure maintained in the metal master. You can define how the procurement quantities are calculated by selecting the large size procedure when maintaining the metal master record. Okay, so this large size procedure, whatever you maintain, that will uh, have an impact on the MRP basically. Okay, the result of the large size calculation is the quantity to be produced or procured, which you can change and display in the order proposal. Okay, so basically this lot size calculation will decide how much quantity is to be produced or procured. Okay, there are three groups of lot sizing procedures. Okay, static, periodical and optimizing. Okay, we will discuss static and periodic. We will discuss, okay, optimizing. Uh, we cannot show it in the system. I cannot show it in the system. You need some real time data. But I will share you some documents with you can go through those documents. Okay. Apart from this, you can also enter restrictions in the metal master that the system is to take into account when forming the lot sizes. That is minimum lot size and maximum lot size. Okay. So we, I'll show you this also how this minimum lot size and maximum lot size will work. Okay. So basically, this lot sizing procedure is maintained in the material master okay it is entered in the material master in the mrp2 mrp1 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 okay so we have three types of lot sizing procedures as i just explained static periodic and optimum procedures we will discuss static and periodic ones okay so First, let me show you the uh, large size procedure in the system. Okay. Okay. So, if you take our material. This is a product we are talking about, Pepsi one liter bottle. Okay, if you take this, okay, to see the lot size procedure, you need to go to material must MM03. Okay, enter the material code, enter. You need to go to MRP view, MRP one view. Okay, if you continue, plant is 1710, continue. Here you see. There is a large size procedure meeting. Just give me one minute. A lot of background noise is coming. Just give me one.
So this is the place where you maintain the large sizing procedures. Okay, you see here large sizing procedure EX. So we have some large sizing procedures. We will discuss this. We will discuss the important ones. Okay. We will discuss this. Okay. So uh, so we have uh, so first we'll start with the static lot sizing procedures. Okay, so when planning when planning using lot for lot order quantity, the system uses the exact shortage quantity as the order quantity in case of a material shortage. So if you use EX, EX that means in the static lot sizing procedures, we have three EX, lot for lot order quantity, FX, fixed lot size, and HB, replenish up to maximum stock level. Okay, so first we'll discuss on the EX, lot for lot. That means your system will create the planned order quantity or purchase, uh, purchase requisition quantity exact to the requirement. Suppose let's say your requirement is 50, then it will create planned order exactly to 50. Let's say your requirement is 100. Then it will create planned order for 100. Let's say your requirement is 70. It will create exactly to the 70. Exact, lot for lot, lot for lot. If you use EX, lot for lot order quantity. Okay, so uh, let me show you this. So now already it is maintained, EX, lot for lot order. Okay, so now, Okay, so for this material, I will enter some requirements. Let's go to MD04. Okay, as of now, nothing is here. We don't have any stock, no requirements, nothing is here. Already, the what is the planning strategy? 10. Okay, so now I will enter the requirements. Okay, MD61. Okay. Enter one month, they will enter 100, second month 150, third month 200, next month 250. 250. Okay, and another month, let's say 300. I'm entering the forecast now. I'm saving it. Saved it now. You can see the your uh, forecast on the MD04 screen. This is what I enter month wise forecast. Now, if I run MRP, you see how system will be here. I'm just running MRP, MD02. Okay, I'm running it. Yesterday we already discussed all these things. Huh? These MRP control parameters, process control parameters already we discussed yesterday. Okay, so now I'm just running MRP. MRP is executed. So now if you go to stock requirement list, if I refresh the screen, what do you observe? What is the planned order quantity in the month of November, the requirement is 100, planned order quantity is 100. In the month of uh, December, the requirement is 150 and the planned order quantity is 150. So exact to the requirement. Why? The reason is we are using lot for lot, for lot, lot size, EX. We are using EX. Okay, so your, your receipt element quantity is exact to the requirement quantity. That's what you need to understand. Okay, now we will discuss about the pixel lot size. Pixel lot size, I'll show. You. Let us go and change the lot size to pixel lot size. Go to MF02. Go to MRP1 view. Plant is 1710. Here you have a EX. Now we will change it to FX. Here you see there is a one coin FX. Fixed order quantity. If I use FX, the moment I'm trying to use FX, if I enter, what system says this the lot sizing procedure requires a fixed lot size. It is asking you to enter this fixed lot size. Now let me enter 150. I am entering 150. Now you see the difference. I say I enter. I entered 150. That means the meaning is always we produce only 150. Okay, not less than 150, not more than 150. Okay, suppose I'll tell you the scenario. Your machine 
uh, can accommodate only 150. Okay, so your production department says we can produce only in terms of 150. In that case, you go for fixed cell lot size. Now I'm saving it. Okay, or now you see. Same scenario, same situation. I'll take a screenshot of it. I'll take a screenshot of it. Now you see. For the same scenario, if I run MRP, now you see the planned orders quantities. I'm running MRP again. Okay, I'm running MRP again. I read MRP. Now, if you go to stock requirement list, refresh. What do you observe? What difference do you observe, Suresh? All planned order quantities are 150. Correct, Suresh? Hi, Savan. That is correct. All oh. planned orders are 150. All planned order quantities are 150. Whatever may be your requirement, whatever may be your requirement, your planned order quantities are one. When planning using fixed lot size, the system will use the fixed order quantity recorded in the material master for the lot size calculation if a material shortage exists. That means it's always fixed. Fixed. If the fixed lot size is not sufficient to balance out the material shortage, then several lots are planned for the same date until the material shortage is eliminated. That means if the requirement is let's say 300, your fixed lot size is 150. So if, if it generates only one planned order for 150, it will not suffice a requirement. So that's why what it does is it will create one more planned order, one more receipt element. Okay, like this, the fixed lot size will work. Okay, in the previous case, the planned order quantities were different. You see, planned order quantities were according to the requirement 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. In case of EX, EX, but in case of FX, you see, in case of FX, all are 150. All are 150. So, all large sizes are available in the system. Only you, as a consultant, understand the client requirement and you have to propose a Propose a suitable lot size procedure to them. Okay, they say we always produce only 150. I'm just giving you an example. Then you have to say you use fixed lot size. You have to tell them in the material master you use fixed lot size. That's what you're, you will be doing in the real time. You have to tell them you use FX, fixed order quantity. And the moment you use this FX, it will ask you to enter the fixed lot size that the, the client will provide. Okay. So that is the fixed lot size. Now the next one is replenish up to maximum stock level. This I will show you when we go to reorder point plan. Okay. You use the lot sizing procedure replenishment up to maximum stock level HB. If you want to fill the stock up to the highest possible level, or if you can only store a certain quantity of a material due to the container size. Okay. This I will show you when we go to reorder point plan. This this work this lot sizing procedure work with only reorder point plan. That time I will show. It works with reorder point plan. That time I will show. Okay. As of now, let's let's just skip this. Okay. So these are the static lot sizing procedures. Okay. We are here. We discussed in the static lot sizing procedures, lot for lot order quantity. And fix a lot size quantity. Okay. Now we will go to the periodic lot sizing procedures. Okay. So in the periodic lot sizing procedures, what happens is in periodic lot sizing procedures, in periodic lot sizing procedures, the system groups several requirements within a time interval together to form a lot. Okay. You can define the following periods: days, weeks, months. Okay, days, weeks, months, and period of flexible length according to your requirement. You can define the period freely also. Okay, so let me explain this. So normally what happens is if you see this, you will understand what how the periodic lot sizing procedure works is you define a period. Let's say you define a monthly lot size. What system does is system will take all the requirements of that month. 
okay let's say this is a month okay system will take all the requirements within that month and it will club and for that entire month it will create only single planned order or a purchase if you see here this period you have three requirements and it will club these three requirements and it will create a single plan okay so that is called periodic lot sizing procedures i'll tell you in which scenario it is used your production department says normally we produce product once in a month not as and when required okay they say uh, you give requirements small small quantities it is not possible to produce small small quantities as and when required we normally produce that product only once in a month then in that case you have to go for periodic lot sizing procedures okay so now i'll show you this in the system let's say i will i will put monthly lot size and i will show you how it works okay so let me delete everything okay just give me one minute let me run mrp once those planned orders will go okay i did mrp the planned orders are gone okay okay so i'll change the lot size in procedure mm02 okay now it is fx now i will change it to monthly lot size here you see there is a lot size procedure called mb mb monthly lot size i'll use it mb okay now this fixed lot size is not required okay so now what is a lot size monthly lot size and now you see i'll save this now what i will do i'll enter the requirements in weekly format let me go to mb61 okay now i will enter the requirements in the weekly format from the first of november onwards okay in the weekly format we discussed this already in the previous sessions i am entering weekly 25 25 okay just to make you understand i am entering in the weekly format save it now you got the pars here and refresh the screen so now your pars you got it now i will run mrp now you see how system will behave so what system does is as our our lot sizing procedure is monthly it club all the requirements within a month and it will create for that entire month it will create only one plan you see i'm running mrp now md0 okay I did MRP. Okay, and now if you go to stock requirement list, refresh. What do you observe? Fresh. What do you observe? Okay, you see. It clubbed all the requirements of a month, of the November month, and it, what do you call? It created only single plan, 125. And you see. For uh, December month, 